Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you three of the easiest methods for taking screenshots in Windows 10. If this is your first time tuning into my channel, my name is John, I've been in IT for over 10 years, and I like making videos like this to help people like you get their answers to computer questions. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first method is using a program called Snipping Tools. So Snipping Tool comes already installed on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And to find it, all we have to do is click down here in the search and just start typing Snipping Tool, and then it automatically pops up here. Now another way of navigating to it is by clicking on the Start menu, going down to the W's, and we will click on Windows Accessories, the Snipping Tool here. Now what I would recommend doing is creating a shortcut or pinning it to your taskbar and if you right click go to more you'll see the option on your screen that says pin to taskbar. Now I already have it pinned to my taskbar because I use it all the time and to open it just click on the icon and this dialog box will pop up and you have several different modes to choose from. My favorite method that I use the most is the rectangular snip. So if rectangular snip is selected you'll click on new your screen you'll notice it kinda of dim a little bit and then your cursor turns into these crosshairs so hold down your left mount your left click mouse button and drag over what you want to take a screenshot and then as soon as you let go that screenshot pops up and we have a op couple of options of what we can do with it you can draw on it you can choose the color of your pen you can circle you can highlight and you can erase what you did. Now you have some more options if you click on this edit with paint 3D but I won't go into that uh, I won't go into the paint 3D in this video so when you're ready to save it you'll click on file save as and then you can choose whatever folder you want to save it in sometimes the desktop is just the easiest or you can save it in your pictures so completely up to you. Let me go ahead and show you the second method um, or second mode. We won't quite jump into that second method yet, but there's also a thing called freeform snip and that allows you to make custom cuts for whatever you want to snip out. So in this case we're just going to follow that shape and same way you hold your left click, drag it around, complete the circle, and then as soon as you let go you have this here and then you can save it wherever you'd like. Now these other modes let me go ahead and just close out of that so I can show you real quick these other modes. Um, this will take a <clears throat> window snip takes a picture of the full program that you have open and full screen takes a picture of the full screen but I'm going to cover that and show you a little bit different way of doing that. So if you're finding this helpful so far it would mean the world to me if you click that subscribe button uh, and then you can keep up with my latest videos like these that show you how to do cool tips and tricks and even answer some of your questions. So let's go ahead and jump into the second way of taking screenshots and this involves using your keyboard. You'll notice on your keyboard where you have your function keys you have one that will say print screen or it's usually abbreviated to something like this. It may say PRTSC or print SCR in this case. Um, you'll see something along those lines and all you have to do is just click that button and what it does is put it on your clipboard if you're familiar with copy and pasting text this is the same as copying text and now it's ready to paste and if you don't know what copy paste is that's okay all you need to know is that you can put this picture in uh, a wide variety of programs so let's for our example let's open up Microsoft Word and let's go ahead and paste our picture here I click I right clicked and I'm gonna choose to paste it here. You can also click Control V and that will also paste the image that you just took a snip of. So that one's really easy and you can use that to paste your photo into emails, all kinds of programs, Paint, Microsoft Word, Microsoft um, Outlook, all kinds. So the third way is similar to this one except you're going to hold down the Windows key plus print screen and what this is going to do is take a screenshot of whatever you have on your screen and it's going to put it in your screenshots folder. So I'm going to do that on my screen real quick and you'll see it'll 
kind of gray out just for a split second and then it put the image of this in that screenshots folder and the way you're going to get to that screenshots folder is to go to your pictures folder so I'm going to open this PC which has a list of my main folders here click on pictures and then we have screenshots and we can see the screenshot that I just took and I have dual monitors open right now so what you're gonna see on mine is it took a screenshot of everything if you have a single monitor that's what you'll see if you have dual monitors like me it gets everything so just keep that in mind so I hope you found this video helpful and if you did again please click that subscribe button it would mean the world to me and I will see you in the next video thanks for watching